Morgan Gibbs White has been a shining light in what has been a pretty dismal and dark season for Nottingham Forest. He's been able to keep them up with his goals and assists and just all round play, but it might be time to look for a move a little bit higher up the table. And if that's the case, I know just the side. Here is why I believe Morgan Gibbs White is perfect for Tottenham Hotspur. One of the issues that Tottenham Hotspur have faced this season is through the idea of teams working them out and understanding how to play against them. And typically that's down to a team being really narrow, really compact and closing down the space between the defenders and the midfielders. Now Tottenham don't really help themselves in this scenario because they don't necessarily think on the right hand side of their play they have the players to be able to play in the tight knit scenarios and on top of that I don't think they shift possession quick enough. This is where I believe there is a bit of an issue with Pape Matassar in particular and just generally on this Tottenham right hand side. I don't think Basuma helps him out all too much either but that's for a different topic. Pape Matassar is a very good player and I do think that he's got a load of potential in him in his age and his ability to really drive with the ball but in these tight scenarios, he is being found out a little bit. I don't think his passing range or vision is good enough to be able to find the lines in between past the defenders. I don't think he moves well enough to be able to put himself into scenarios which makes defenders uncomfortable. And the rotation in and around possession for this Ange Postacoglu side is just a little bit lacking when it comes to shifting the ball through, making sure you're in different positions, pulling defenders away, making sure that you're working the space and working the areas. I just don't quite see him as that player. And for that reason, Tottenham's attacks start to break down, especially down this right-hand side. Lately, we've seen Kulisevsky move into a more central role, I think because he's a little bit better on the ball and to be a little bit more of a, a creative spark within the centre of the pitch, almost like a lightning rod to be able to pin players onto to give some extra space. And really, that should be the role of Papamatasar. So in that case, Case, I think an upgrade might be needed. That's not to say that Saar needs to go anywhere. I think he'd be a perfect backup option and even maybe someone who's got a little bit more of an edge to him, perhaps a little bit more of a destroyer. But as for a creative player to give Tottenham a bit of balance on both the left and right hand channels, I think a change is needed. If we were to compare Morgan Gibbs White with Pape so a couple of really interesting things come up. First of all, we need to take into consideration the fact that Gibbs White is three years older than Matasar, and Matasar has really only started to come into this Tottenham team this season. So, taking all of that, I still think that Gibbs White would be a bit of an upgrade from an attacking point of view on. Pape Matasar. And if we take a look at the heat maps, a couple of really interesting things do crop up here. First of all, we can see Matasar's heat map right here. Really exactly where Ange Postacoglu wants him in this inside right channel, making sure that he's able to push up, giving the space for the fullback to come into midfield, and then making sure that he's got link up play between the rest of his attacking teammates. But when we take a look at Gibbs White, he is all over the pitch, but in particular, I like the way he drives in towards the penalty area. If we compare the two penalty areas here and here we can see that Gibbs White enters the penalty area a whole lot more than Pape Matasar does. Not only that, but he's also able to drift over to this left-hand side as well, not just being on the right. This is down to Gibbs White being naturally a little bit more central, but in this Ange Postacoglu system, he'd be a little bit more one-sided. This is in conjunction with James Madison, who I think he will really strike up, or he would strike up, a really good partnership with. Comparing some of the statistics, it really does lend itself quite well into Gibbs White's favour. Five goals comparison into three is obviously a whole lot better for Morgan Gibbs White, but it's not necessarily that that I'm one more interested with. It's actually looking at the assists. Ten assists this season. He's having quite a good campaign in comparison to the three. Remember, both of these players have played a similar number of minutes. I think they've played around about 35 plus games together. Perhaps Matasar has played a little bit less. We've got higher assists per game. We've got higher are expected assists on this side 16 big chances created now this is what i'm talking about from a creation point of view because i think this is really where tottenham are lacking on that right hand side in particular the right attacking midfield slot i just think that tottenham could do with someone who's a little bit more creative and that's certainly someone that morgan gibbs white or a profile that morgan gibbs white can really show here 
he is just really really good and then when he comes to the defending this is where Papamatsar comes into his own but I'm not sure that the swing in terms of defending is enough to really combat him against the creative aspect of Morgan Gibbs White. Morgan Gibbs White has more block shots but that's natural because of his Nottingham Forest connection and the fact that they actually face more attempts it's been dribbled to pass more times of course but what's interesting are the other game statistics because Morgan Gibbs White actually has more successful dribbles which is fine he has more grand duels won and he also has more aerial duels won and this is really interesting because you'd assume that as Matasar is a taller player you'd assume he'd be able to be a little bit more physical this is not the case and then you think about the fact that Gibbs White is combative he's aggressive he has higher assists he's got higher goals taking into consideration the fact that there's a three-year difference I just think the quality the aggression and the ability to be a bit more creative further up the pitch is someone that Tottenham really need to be looking at. If we just swap out Pape Matasar and put in Morgan Gibbs White, I think a real symmetry starts to appear with this Tottenham lineup. You have James Madison and Gibbs White, and I just think that both of them together really do offer quite a good balance between the left hand side and right hand side channels. Gibbs White naturally already has a little bit better movement than Pape Matasar, and he has the ability to just drift players out of position, allowing for more central runs from the Tottenham fullbacks who go into midfield but at the same time he's got better vision as well his vision to play in passes through to the right winger through to the striker who's making a run in beyond the defense and at the same time he can also drop a little bit deeper we know that he's very good with carrying the ball we understand that he's got good progression of play and his passes through into Madison is also something that might be quite interesting the link up between the two we know that Gibbs White likes to roam in a more free style at Nottingham Forest and with his link up with Madison it could be something that's quite special just a little bit more naturally gifted on the ball and at the same time you've also got options for rotation so for example Gibbs White could swap with the right winger and if that's Kulisevsky, Kulisevsky now no longer needs to leave that right hand channel left open Gibbs White could take up that right hand role for a little bit because we know he has an opportunity to play as a forward at times or one of the wide areas he's got a good cross in him which allows him to really bring and cut that play back and at the same time his link up and rotation with the rest of this Tottenham squad would give a flexibility to the way that Tottenham like to attack it's a different kind of formation more of a 4-3-3 rather than the 4-2-3-1 that Ange Postacoglu starts with naturally a little bit more offensive but that's what this game is all about fluctuation the flexibility of having different setups based around the personnel and I do think that having Matasar is a good idea but having Gibbs White in those times when you need to play a little bit more free a little bit more attacking Gibbs White would really be able to start unlocking defenses in this Tottenham attack Gibbs White can also massively improve Tottenham from a transitional point of view. Let's for example say that Tottenham have recovered possession. Van der Ven has the ball and he's laid it off to Basuma. They want to make the use of the space that's in behind this opposition back line. And normally what would happen is that Basuma would look for Madison. Now instead of of doing this what they can actually do now is utilize both Gibbs White and Madison and that's not to say that he wouldn't pass to Papa Matasar, but I think his lack of creativity his lack of real drive with the ball at times just means that they might need to recycle the ball round instead now passing to either Gibbs White or Madison not only gives the opposition defenders more of a headache which player do they mark how do they try to read the transitional play if you pass the ball to Gibbs Gibbs White not only are you freeing Madison up to be able to take a better slot but you're also giving Gibbs White a better option to be able to attack he can drive and carry the ball forwards he can pass and recycle it round into Madison play it off into the striker or even find the channel this added creativity through the transitional play that we've seen Gibbs White do at Nottingham Forest on countless occasions just gives a little bit added edge to Tottenham if he were in the side and then you're thinking about the real symmetry that they have in the side because if it's passed to Madison that's okay 
That is perfectly fine. Because then what you've got is Gibbs White's movement off the ball. And it's this kind of movement, this intensity that I think he's got with his playing style, the aggression to really get in beyond the lines that gives not only Tottenham an added edge, but Madison an extra pass. It gives the striker an extra bit of space because of the run that's given. All of these things add up to a much more potent Tottenham transitional play. And it's just through the addition of a more creative, a more aggressive and a more attack-minded player like Morgan Gibbs-White who has the quality that could take Tottenham to a whole new level. So all in all, we've got a player in Morgan Gibbs-White who is both combative, he's aggressive, and at the same time, he's got a finesse about him that really brings in a lot of goals. 15 goals and assists this season in the Premier League for a struggling Nottingham Forest side is really, really impressive. His ability both on and off the ball could really be a massive, massive participating factor in how a side goes forwards. And I believe it's all of these aspects combined with his mentality combined with his real drive and determination that would make him a perfect fit for Tottenham Hotspur. But of course, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. What do you think about Morgan Gibbs White and who do you think Tottenham should be going after in the summer? Let me know your thoughts. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something new and I hope to see you in the next one. But until then, my friends, take care.